to create any geometry in SOLIDWORKS, you have to start with a sketch. And now there are two kinds of sketches. There's a 2D sketch and a 3D sketch. And generally, you'll be focusing on using the 2D sketches. To start a 2D sketch, you'll need to select a plane and choose the Create Sketch option. Or you can go into the Sketch tab in the Command Manager and choose Sketch and then select a plane, for example, the front plane here. And one other way you can do it is you can actually add it to the shortcut bar. So if I press S in the workspace, you'll notice I have an insert sketch. That's not there by default. You can add that in by right clicking, choosing customize, and dragging in the sketch icon. I tend to like the shortcut bar option because it puts it right at your fingertips and you can create your sketch. Now there are two ways that sketches get their definition. There are relations and there are dimensions. So if I grab the circle tool here and click in a circle, you'll see in the bottom right corner that this sketch is underdefined. To define the sketch, we'd have to add relations. One way to do that is we could drag the center point. And you'll notice when I bring the center point to the origin, there's a yellow box to the right of my mouse cursor. And that shows a little image inside. That's a coincident relation. So once I drop that in, that adds the coincident relation. If I grab that circle tool again and hover over the edge of the circle, you'll also notice that coincident box. Or if I draw it off to the side, you'll notice another yellow box pops up, and that's showing the tangent relation. Now if I grab the line tool by clicking on it, and I place it horizontal to one of these points, you'll notice that there's a white box next to the cursor. And a white box indicates that it's in a position where it's relative to this, horizontal, but it doesn't add in the relation. Whereas the yellow box that you see to the right there with the vertical line indicates that it's going to add that relation in. So keep that in mind when working with the sketch entities. If you see a white box, it's just showing that it is within the position to be in that relation. Whereas if you see that yellow box once again, it's indicating that it's going to add that relation. Now there's two different ways to add in entities in a sketch. There's a method called click click and there's a method called click drag. Click drag, if I click and hold my mouse down, will add in the line by holding down the mouse and it will add the last point where I release the mouse. The click click method involves clicking once and then I can click in the other end point. And with the line tool, if you use the click click option, it'll allow you to keep adding in lines. To exit this line tool, we can double click or you can right click and say select if you're still creating the line. You also may have noticed that this when adding in this line, it automatically picked up that parallel relation. And the same click, click, and click, drag method is true for all of the other sketch entities there. Now, aside from the parallel relation and the horizontal and vertical, as well as tangent, there's a few other relations that can be added in. I'm going to go ahead and draw this line off without a relation here right click and select and then I'm going to go ahead and select the line here and control select this other line 
And you can see on the left here, quite a few different relations come up. If I control click those again, and keep my mouse close to the lines here, you can see that, the, that those options also come up in a little selection box here. So I can make these two equal. I can also add a perpendicular relation if I wanted. And then if I went to add another, let's say horizontal, you'll see that an error message comes up on the right saying the sketch is overdefined. So if you add in too many relations or dimensions, it's going to indicate to you that the sketch is overdefined. You'll also notice that all of the lines here are blue currently. That means they're underdefined. So if we give a dimension, for example, to this circle by using the Smart Dimension tool, let's say setting this to 3.6 inches, that circle will turn black, indicating that it's fully defined. We can do the same with this circle. Set it to, for example, 5 inches. And then you'll notice that I can still move this around the circle because of that tangent relation. If I control select the two center points, I can make them horizontal, and that'll define the circle. I could also drag a point out here, drop it into the origin there. And now you'll notice that the line has turned black, but the end point is still blue because that's the one portion of the line that still is underdefined. And we could keep adding in dimensions using that smart dimension tool. But by now you should get the general gist of how to use a sketch and how to add entities into a sketch.